It's Frankie from About Script, and in this video we're doing something a little bit different. We usually just write code on the computer, but now we're going to try to write a program, or make a program, that works on paper. What we have here is a PDF that will be available for download. I made it in um, an Excel-like program, but it's uh, free and runs on Linux, as well as Windows and other operating systems. And it's um, a form of a calculator that just uses uh, paper. So we're going to start by going um, onto the computer. We're going to download it. The link will be in the description of this video. And once you have that, you can print it out, like so. And um, we'll be ready to get started. So what you'll need is this paper that you've printed out. It's just one sheet and a pair of scissors. And that's it. So to start off, we're going to take this sheet and lay it down flat. Let me just back up here. What we're going to do is, where it says fold these lines, we're going to make a fold there. Um, for me, all I have to do is fold the paper exactly in half, so that it's equal on each side. And then we're also going to fold between the zeros and the words. This will all make a lot more sense in just a moment, I promise. Alright, and then on the other side with the ones, we're going to fold right next to where the ones are, um, between that little empty gap. Like so. So now your paper should have uh, three folds in it, if you're following along. What we're going to do now is we're going to... Uh, fold between the ones and the words, which we already had made a fold on, and we're going to start to make our first cut. So what we're doing is we're allowing um, our paper to have a moving part to it. So if we cut um, across, so now we're going to have a cut between the one and the fold, and you see it's going to be open like that. Uh, you want to go all the way to the next column. And you're going to do the same thing at the bottom. Um, so we're going to cut between the line that says binary and lines in that line there. Make sure it goes all the way across. And now you're going to want to take this new uh, foldable piece so you see now that this is free on the top, this is free on the bottom. You're going to take this middle piece here, and we're going to fold it over towards the zeros. So you see now you can have your ones and your zeros under them. Maybe this will be starting to make sense to you if you know what binary is. Now we're going to snip each one of these dotted lines. Now we have, I believe, nine different pieces, each of the ones, and some miscellaneous words on the back. Now what we can do is open up um, our paper. So you see now we just have a bunch of fringes in it. And we are going to push these up like this, so that on one side we have our zeros, which will lay down flat on whatever surface we have. And on the other side, you will have your numbers. So if you've done it right, if you turn everything one way, you should have the zeros and then the words. And if you flip it the other way, if we were to flip all of them the other way, you'll have a bunch of ones and numbers. Okay? So what you can do now is pick a number. Um, any number less than 512. So we'll do 61. And what you do is, for each one of these, you say, can I take this out of my 61? Uh, we can't have any 256s, so we'll cover that. We can't have any 128s, we'll cover that. 
We can't have any 64s, so we'll cover that. We can take 32, and for each one that you do say you want, you have to keep um, kind of a tally in your head. So we have 32. Our next number is 16. So if we take 32 and 16, is that going to be more than what our number is? And since it's not, we'll add those two together. So now we have uh, 48. All right. And each time we take one, we put that to the left. When we don't want it, we put it to the right. And then if we add 8, 32 plus 16, um, we said was 48 plus 8. Uh, now you're seeing my uh, embarrassing, the poor mental math skills. Uh, <laughs> so we had, we had 48 plus 8 is 56. Still not quite at 61. 56 plus 4 would give us 60. Um, fifth, or 60 plus 2 would give us 62. So we don't want that because that would be more than our number. So we're going to push that one to the right. And then 60 plus 1 gives us 61. So you see now we have um, some to the left and some to the right. And if you read that number that's going down the page, it says 00011101. And that is the binary representation right here of 61. So you now have a handy calculator that doesn't need electricity or anything like that. It just works. It's made of paper. You can't make it any more foolproof than this. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe, and maybe we'll do some more um, videos with the camera as opposed to screencasts in the future. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.